In this video, I am going to demonstrate how the TP timer works of TI portal in S7-1200. So, if, to demonstrate this, we will first uh, use the graph to see how this TP timer works and then it, we will demonstrate this in the simulation. Now. Now let's come to the uh, graph view of this timer, how this timer works. I have fetched this graph from the help send, from the help uh, book of TIA portal. You can get this or see this graph from by pressing the F1 on the timer and you can see this graph. Uh, now let's see how this works. Uh, let's suppose we have this graph. Uh, of the input signal to the timer and this is the graph of the output signal of the timer and this is the graph of the timer so let's see the conditions how the timer work uh, when we input uh, 0 to 1 signal uh, or we give positive age to the input of the timer the timer starts and the output goes to high so this is the first condition or you can say this is the first working principle of this timer uh, the input sorry the output goes from 0 to 1 when positive age occurs sorry an input so uh, now this let's see the second working uh, as you can see from the graph you can see from the graph uh, the input is still high and the output goes to zero uh, this means when the timer completes let's say we have set the timer of 10 seconds and the 10 second finishes the output goes to zero even if we have input of high that means that uh, that means that output is independent of the input and it depends on the timer when the timer complete it goes to zero so this is the second condition output does not goes to sorry output does not remains high even if input is high now let's see the third condition as you can see from the graph uh, we give the positive age and the output becomes high but uh, after some let's suppose after two seconds uh, we turn off the input but you can see that output does not goes to zero it finishes its timer of 10 second and then it goes to zero that means we have third uh, working principle of this timer of that uh, output Output does not goes to zero even if even when input goes to zero. Sorry for my bad English, uh, but I hope you may understand it. Uh, now the now so the result of this uh, 
प्राइमर इज दैट the output of timer becomes independent of input when after the first occurrence first occurrence of the positive h that means that when the positive h occurred and the output goes to high uh, the timer output becomes independent of the input until the timer finishes so that's the working principle of this timer now let's come to demonstration uh, first of all we are going to create a new project uh, test timer and now we create it we we'll go to project view add new device select your timer I prefer to use this timer. Ah, uh, sorry. Select the CPU. Uh, I prefer to use this CPU uh, so that you can go easily in my tutorial. Uh, make sure that this CPU you selected have version 4.0 so that uh, you can simulate this. Now press OK. go to program log main ob1 add input relay add an output coil give address to the input get give address to the output uh, so now we are going to select the timer select this timer tp generate pulse timer and drag and drop it here uh select it automatically for this tutorial uh, and click okay this will automatically generate the db block here for the timer and now as you can see this pt is the value of the time you want the timer for uh, let's suppose we want a 10 second timer so we put in 10s so this automatically uh, put the format in this of 10 second and this et value is the output of the timer not the digital output but the remaining time of the output so uh, let's suppose uh, we give the address of md2 now control s now we want we want to simulate it so we are going to open plc sim plc sim v13 uh, we are going to create a new project uh, select s7 1200 uh, give you any project name you want taking a while
now we have actually created the project in PLCC now we just want to download this program uh, to the PLCC so let the CPU here and download to device uh, select PLCC mass 7 12 but before that let's make sure that you have selected PGP in PGPC interface PSCC mass 7 12 let's go to PGPC interface PGPC interface and you can find the PGPC interface in the control panel as well and from here you can see that I have selected PLC SIM from this adopt list uh, PLC SIM as 712 and 71500 because we are simulating a 71200 so click ok now we have selected here in the portal PLCC 712 and 71500 now start search and yes uh, it has found the PLCC now click load and click load to device do you want to start the PLC I will go with yes and click finish now open PLC sim uh, it is taking a while uh, you can see PLC sim is loading the program and here it is the PLC is in run mode now get back to your OB1 and click on this button of monitoring now let's suppose uh, let's see the first condition that the timer goes to uh, the output of the timer goes to high even if the when the input goes from 0 to 1 or input gives positive edge now modify to 1 as you can see the output is high let's wait for 10 seconds now as you can see as the 10 second finishes the output goes to 0 and you can see from here the second condition also here is proved that even if the input is high the output goes to zero when the timer finishes now let's see and verify the third condition that is when the output is high and timer is in working condition if the input goes to zero from one what happens to the output now let's modify to 1 and let's immediately modify it to 0 as you can see the output does not go to 0 when the input goes to 0 until the timer finishes so this is the working of this timer uh, this is the, what the name of and you can find the help of this timer by pressing on the timer like this and pressing F1 uh, wait uh, let's see I'm not selected now press F1 here is the graph that I show you earlier and you can find additional helps in here so this was the tutorial of gendered pulse timer i hope you understand this positive edge timer through my tutorial 
प्लीज़ सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल फॉर मोर टाइम और टूटोरियल्स एंड अपकमिंग वीडियोज़ एंड स्टेट टू माई चैनल थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग Thank you.